This lesson is brought to you by Just Percussion. In this lesson, I want to show you how to play a polyrhythm. So uh, polyrhythm just means uh, more than one rhythm. Uh, I think technically it means many rhythms, but today we're just going to deal with uh, two rhythms happening at the same time. So we're going to start out really simple uh, and play a polyrhythm that uh, if you've done any sort of drumming or played any instrument, you've probably already played this. Um, and this is a two over one polyrhythm. So two over one. Two over one means one is going to be the primary pulse. So we're going to actually create uh, a bar of one four. It's going to be the time signature. And we're just going to play two notes on top of that. So one, 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 one. And we're going to add two notes on top of each uh, beat of one. One, two, one, two. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Very straight ahead, very simple. The next one is the opposite of that, a one over two. So in this case, we have to create a bar of two four because that's going to be the primary pulse. One, two, one, two. Now we're just going to put one beat on top of every two beats. So one beat per bar. One. Okay, again, very simple. Those are basic polyrhythms though, and they demonstrate the concept. Uh, the next polyrhythm we're going to do is a uh, 3 over 2. And so for this one, we're going to have to look at the full formula. Um, and uh, this is going to demonstrate uh, what, a, what a real polyrhythm feels like uh, in, the, in, the, in the sense that we actually use them in music. Uh, and from here, we're going to use the same polyrhythm formula and it's just going to get more and more complex as we go along. What we can do is look at it as, uh, we can take away the numbers for a moment and go back and use some algebra type you know, terms and we'll say, um, let's say for, for 3 over 2, uh, x over n. Um, so x can be any, any first number and n is any second number. So n is the primary pulse. So in this case that's 2. So we're going to have to create a bar uh, with that many primary beats. So we're going to create a bar of 2-4. And what you have to do uh, with that bar of 2-4 is divide it by x. So divide it by, uh, in this case, divide each beat by, uh, by x, by, by 3. So you have to make each beat into a triplet. And uh, this is just the beginning. So this is the, you start off with a bar of 2-4. 1, 2, 1, 2, Divide each beat by x, by 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then what you have to do is, the next step in the formula is accent every n number of notes of that subdivision. So you've, you've, you've made triplets there, and you have to accent every n number of those, which in this case is 2. So you have to accent every two triplets. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. 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 So I was counting it out loud there, so I never lost the one because again, that uh, the primary pulse has to be the primary pulse. You can't get lost in those accents. You've got to keep the primary pulse. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two Three, one, two, three. Okay, so now the, the final step is we have to remove all the notes of, this, of that subdivision that are not the accents. And then that, and that creates a different rhythm, uh, which is the final polyrhythm. So again, those accented notes are the only ones going to remain. I'm going to keep counting out the full subdivision, um, but again, only play those accented notes. One, two, three. 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 Okay, next polyrhythm is two over three. So again, the first step, create a bar with n number of primary beats. In this case, that's three. So it'll be a bar of three, four. One, two, three. Second step, 
divide each of those beats into x number of subdivisions. So in this case, 2 over 3, that's 2 subdivisions. So we're going to divide each uh, beat into eighth notes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and. Next step, accent every n number of those subdivisions. So again, that's going to be 3 in this case. 1 and 2 and 3 and. 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 Then again, remove all the subdivisions that aren't those accents. But keep counting them uh, either in your head or count them out loud. I think it's better to count them out loud so you really don't lose track, especially losing track of where the one is because that's the most important beat. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Okay, so that completes the two over three polyrhythm. Let's step it up again. Next one, four over three. Okay, so immediately we're going to be dealing with uh, more notes. The, the bigger the numbers that you put in, the more uh, numbers you're going to have to deal with in the final polyrhythm. But the same formula applies to all of these polyrhythms again. So, four over three, x over n. In this case, divide, uh, create a bar with n number of notes, which again, same as the last one, is 3. So it's going to be 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Divide each of those beats by x number of notes, which is 4 in this case. 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a, 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a. Accent every n number of those subdivisions, which is every three of those notes. 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a, 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a. And then, again, take away the subdivisions that are not those accents. Keep counting them, just play the accents. 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a, 1, e, n, a, 2, e, n, a, 3, e, n, a. If I play that a bit quicker and take away the count, you should get the idea of how that really comes together as a polyrhythm. So you should be able to clearly hear the, the four happening on the practice pad and the three happening on the bass drum there. Okay, the next one, F flip it again, three over four. Create a bar of four, four. I'm just going to skip past the formula now and, and, and jump right into them. Create a bar of four. Uh, divide each of those beats by three and then accent every four of those triplets in this case. So one, two, three, four. Accenting every four of these. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. And again, take away the non accented subdivisions. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Okay, getting a little bit more complicated now, um, but now unfortunately we're about to really step it up. So we're going to introduce the number uh, 5. So 5 over 2 is the next one. So again, x over n, 5 over 2. Create a bar uh, of 2, 4, 1, 2. I'm going to take this one nice and slow. Divide each of those beats into, in this case, into five, so quintuplets. One, two, three, four, five. 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 
accent every two of those quintuplets. Four, five, one, two, three, 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 four, five. I'm playing this between two hands because I'm when I'm accenting every two quintuplets, that allows me to do that really easily. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm, you know, I'm sort of accenting them physically by having an alternating sticking. Um, but I'm still counting the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. You never want to lose that one. That's the real, that's the main beat here. That's the one, again, that's the, the time signature of the music. We're putting, we're putting five over that, that beat, over that, that two, four bar. So never, never, never lose the count. Because that's that's the whole point. That's why I've put this formula together for you. So, next one, two over five. Um, same thing. We're just going to flip it. Create a bar of five. Okay, five four. Um, divide each of those beats into two. Accent every five of those subdivisions. So, one, two, three, four, five. One and two and three and four and five. Now, accenting every five of these requires some counting. So I'm actually going to count. I'm actually going to count to count these subdivisions out in groups of five. So one and two and three and four and five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Taking away the non-accented notes now. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, the final two polyrhythms are going to be five over four and four over five. So, exactly the same formula, nothing to be afraid of, just bigger numbers. So, five over four, x over n. First step. Create a bar with n number of notes. That's four notes. I'm going to create a bar of four, four. Divide each of those beats into five. Again, in, in this case, quintuplets. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Accent every four of those quintuplets. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Again, I'm using an alternating sticking, so I can easily go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My body is playing that group of four while I'm counting in those groups of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Oh, it's a lot of counting. But counting it out loud is really, really the key to keeping these genuine polyrhythms and not guesswork. Okay, as soon as you start losing where that one is or where that primary pulse is, and where it fits in with the, um, the, the subdivisions and the accents. Uh, you're not going to be playing a real polyrhythm. You're going to be guessing, and that's, that's not the point here. Okay, the final polyrhythm, again, is 4 over 5. So, create a bar of 5-4, uh, in this case. Divide each beat by 4, so that's uh, semiquavers. And accent every 5 of those semiquavers. This, one's, this one gets, it's quite a long pattern, so I'll play this nice and slow, and I'll, and I'll add in each step of the formula there as I go. So, one, two, three, four, five. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, one E and a, E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a one. Okay, so that's a long one, but if I play it a bit quicker uh, without the count, I'll just play the subdivisions and the accents and the primary pulse. Should be able to get a feel for what's going on.
one and three four five 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 Oof. Okay, so that's how that polyrhythm sounds. When you take away all those subdivisions, I'm still counting in my head very quickly, too quick for me to actually say out loud there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is play all the polyrhythms that I demonstrated uh, in sequence. Um, well, I'll stop in between each one, but just so you get to hear the raw polyrhythms without the count, without the subdivisions, um, just so you can see what the, what the final product sounds like. Here we go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on the basics of polyrhythms and the polyrhythm formula. Uh, again, this formula works for any two numbers that you want to put together. And I'm going to do another video soon on some longer numbers. So starting where we left off and going into a little bit more extreme uh, territory. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.